Economic activity in Southeast Asia has recovered from the recent shocks with private consumption and export of manufactured goods leading the way. Improving domestic demand in Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines has helped to support the rebound in economic growth momentum during the first half of 2023. Over the long run, the ASEAN region is expected to overcome the protracted negative economic shocks caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and continue to be one of the fastest growing regions of the world economy. This rapid pace of growth will be driven by both exports and domestic demand. The combined GDP in the region reached $3 trillion and $625 billion in 2022 from $3 trillion and $377 billion in 2021. Over the next two decades, the total ASEAN economy measured in nominal terms in US dollars is forecast to reach more than quadruple. Increasing from $3 trillion in 2020 to $13.3 trillion by 2040. This will make the combined GDP of the ASEAN economies much larger than the GDP of Japan or Germany by 2040. Highlighting the increasing importance of ASEAN region as one of the world's largest consumer markets. By 2040, ASEAN's share to world GDP is projected to increase to 5.4% of world's economy. According to S&P Global, before 2040, the Philippines and Thailand will join Indonesia on the roster of major global economies, reaching over a trillion dollars of nominal GDP. The Philippines is forecast to become one of the Asia-Pacific region's small group of $1 trillion economies by 2033. While Thailand will join in this grouping of the largest economies in APAC by 2036. Other countries in Asia-Pacific region with over $1 trillion economies are China, Japan, India, South Korea, Australia, and Taiwan. Consequently, the outlook for the Philippines economy over the next decade is very favorable, with significant progress in economic development is expected. Rapidly rising per capita GDP and standards of living will help to underpin a broad improvement in human development indicators and will deliver a significant reduction in the share of the population living in extreme poverty over the decade ahead. The Philippines is poised to become the world's 18th biggest economy by 2050, as long as it addresses its infrastructure lack. A long-term projection, made by London-based macroeconomic research organization, Capital Economics. Meanwhile, rising per capita GDP levels will also put pressures on Thailand's competitiveness in certain segments of its manufacturing export industry. Therefore, an important policy priority for nation will continue to transform manufacturing export industries towards higher value added processing in advanced manufacturing industries. One of the key economic and social challenges facing Thailand is its rapidly aging population, which will result in a rising burden of health care and social welfare costs over the next two decades. This will be a drag on Thailand's long-term potential growth rate, making investment in technology and innovation increasingly important to mitigate the economic impact of demographic aging. The World in 2050 report issued by PwC enumerated the latest long-term global growth projections to 2050 for 32 of the largest economies in the world, accounting for around 85% of world's economy. Accordingly, the Philippines and Vietnam make the greatest moves up in the ranking amongst the major economies in Southeast Asia. The Philippines will rank 19th globally, inching up by 9 places from the 28th spot in 2016, while Vietnam will rank 20th globally with an outstanding rise which ranks up by 12 places from the 32nd spot in 2016. Other ASEAN states which takes part in the major global economies are Indonesia, which ranked 4th. Malaysia ranked in 24th place, and followed by Thailand in 25th spot. The World in 2050 reported that Indonesia will still remain the biggest economy in the region by 2050 with a GDP measured in nominal terms amounting to $7.3 trillion, followed by the Philippines with a GDP of $2.5 trillion, Vietnam with an economy reaching $2.3 trillion, Malaysia with an economy of $2.1 trillion, and Thailand with GDP of $2 trillion. Indonesia 
Growth strengthened to 5.3% in 2022, the highest in the last decade and stronger than the region's median. Growth came on the back of positive terms of trade led by commodity-related exports and a recovery in private consumption. This momentum continued in 2023 with private consumption and exports supporting 5% growth in the first quarter of 2023. Nevertheless, there are signs that domestic demand is starting to moderate. This includes a softening in imports and investment growth, a deceleration in private sector credit growth, as well as a slowdown in core inflation since the beginning of the year. GDP growth is projected to moderate to 4.9% in 2023 and stay broadly flat at 5% in the medium term. Growth will be supported by private consumption as inflationary pressures subside. Despite setbacks, Indonesia is a country of the future. Its large population of about 250 million means a huge labor force and a growing consumer market. The McKinsey Institute forecasts that under an optimistic scenario, by 2030, Indonesia will be the seventh largest economy in the world, and have a middle class of some 135 million people eagerly seeking out globally produced goods and services. It also has a relatively young demographic, which also means continuing economic dynamism. It is rich in natural resources including oil, natural gas, coal, copper, tin, iron, and timber. The Philippines Consequently, the outlook for the Philippines' economy over the next decade is very favorable, with significant progress in economic development expected. Continued rapid GDP growth of around 5.8% year-on-year is expected in 2023, helped by sustained strong private consumption spending, increasing government infrastructure spending, and improving remittance inflows. Sustained remittance inflows from workers abroad, fast-growing ITBPO sector exports, and the recovery of the tourism sector are also expected to support economic growth momentum during 2023. According to the IT and Business Process Association of the Philippines, the total ITBPO headcount in the Philippines reached 1.6 million in 2022 with revenues for the sector rising to $32.5 billion. The long-term outlook for the ITBPO sector in the Philippines is for continued high growth, helped by key competitive advantages of a well-educated workforce and English language proficiency. The Philippines' economy is forecast to continue to grow rapidly, with total GDP doubling from $400 billion in 2022 to $800 billion in 2030. A key growth driver will be rapid growth in private consumption spending, buoyed by strong growth in urban household incomes. By 2033, the Philippines is forecast to become one of the Asia-Pacific region's small group of $1 trillion economies. This strong growth in the size of the Philippines' economy is also expected to drive rapidly rising per capita GDP, from $3,500 in 2022 to $6,200 by 2030. This will help to underpin the growth of the Philippines' domestic consumer market, catalyzing foreign and domestic investment into many sectors of the Philippines' economy. Vietnam The economic outlook from 2023 to 2026 is for rapid economic expansion, with GDP growth forecast to grow at a pace of around 6.5% in 2023, with sustained strong growth at a pace of around 6.7% per year over 2024 to 2026. However, Vietnam's economy faces near-term risks from the slowdown in key export markets, notably the US and the EU. Multiple economists have downgraded the country's economic outlook. Standard Chartered now predicts Vietnam's GDP will expand 6.5%, cutting its forecast from 7.2%. While Capital Economics revised down its forecast for Vietnam's GDP growth to 4.5% for this year, from 5.0%. Oxford Economics, which had forecast a relatively weak 4.2% expansion this year, revised it down to 3.0%. Over the medium-term economic outlook, a large number of positive growth drivers are creating favorable tailwinds and will continue to underpin the rapid growth of Vietnam's economy. This is expected to drive strong growth in Vietnam's total GDP as well as per capita GDP. With strong economic expansion projected over the next decade, Vietnam's total GDP is forecast to increase from $327 billion in 2022 to $470 billion by 2025, 
rising to $760 billion by 2030. This translates to very rapid growth in Vietnam's per capita GDP, from $4,160 per year in 2022 to $5,390 per year by 2025 and $7,400 by 2030, resulting in a substantial expansion in the size of Vietnam's domestic consumer market. Vietnam's role as a low-cost manufacturing hub is also expected to continue to grow strongly, helped by the further expansion of existing major industry sectors, notably textiles and electronics, as well as the development of new industry sectors such as autos and petrochemicals. Malaysia The Malaysian economy rebounded strongly during 2022, with economic growth momentum boosted by the easing of COVID-19 restrictive measures as well as buoyant exports of electrical and electronic products, palm oil products as well as oil and gas exports. During 2023, growth momentum is expected to moderate due to base year effects and the slowdown of merchandise exports. However, the reopening of international borders across the Asia-Pacific region, notably in mainland China, will help the continued gradual recovery of the international tourism industry which was an important part of the Malaysian economy prior to the pandemic. There are a number of downside risks to the near-term growth outlook, particularly due to the slowdown in world growth. Malaysia's export sector is vulnerable to protracted weak economic growth momentum in the US and EU, which together account for around one-fifth of total exports. However, the easing of COVID-19 restrictions in mainland China could help to boost Malaysian exports to this key market which is Malaysia's largest export market and accounts for around 15% of total exports. Overall, the medium to long-term growth outlook for Malaysia remains favorable, with total nominal GDP measured in US dollar terms forecast to rise from around $400 billion in 2022 to $680 billion by 2030 and $780 billion by 2032. Meanwhile, Per capita GDP is projected to rise from $12,000 in 2022 to $18,600 by 2030, which will help to drive the growth of the domestic consumer market. Thailand With more normal conditions expected for international tourism travel in 2023, this should provide a significant boost to the economy. Helped by the continued recovery of the international tourism sector, some upturn in GDP growth to a pace of around 3.4% is expected in 2023. Over the next decade, Thailand's economy is forecast to continue to grow at a steady pace, with total GDP increasing from $500 billion in 2022 to $860 billion in 2032. A key driver will be rapid growth in private consumption spending, buoyed by rapidly rising urban household incomes. By 2036, Thailand is forecast to become one of the Asia-Pacific region's $1 trillion economies in APAC. The substantial expansion in the size of Thailand's economy is also expected to drive rapidly rising per capita GDP, from $6,900 in 2022 to $11,900 by 2032. This will help to underpin the growth of Thailand's domestic consumer market, supporting the expansion of the manufacturing and service sector industries. One of the key economic and social challenges facing Thailand is its rapidly aging population, which will result in a rising burden of healthcare and social welfare costs over the next two decades. This will be a drag on Thailand's long-term potential growth rate, making an investment in technology and innovation increasingly important to mitigate the economic impact of demographic aging.